Chapter 80 He frowned. In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful. The Prophet frowned and turned away, because the blind man came to him. But what could tell you that perchance he might become pure, or that he might receive admonition, and that the admonition might profit him? As for him who thinks himself self-sufficient, to him you address yourself. There is no blame on you if he will not become pure. But as to him who came to you running and with fear, to him you are neglectful, and you divert your attention to another. No, but surely it is a message of instruction. So, whoever wills, let him pay attention to it. It is in records held greatly in honor, exalted in dignity, purified, in the hands of scribes, honorable and obedient. Cursed be man, how ungrateful he is! From what thing did he create him? From a tiny drop he created him, and then fashioned him in due proportion. Then he makes the path easy for him. Then he causes him to die and assigns him to his grave. Then, when he wills, he will resurrect him again. No, but man has not done what he commanded him. Then let man consider his food, how we pour forth water in abundance, and we split the earth into fragments, and we cause grain to grow there, and grapes and green fodder, and olives and date palms, and gardens dense with many trees, and fruits and herbs a provision and a benefit for you and your cattle. Then, when there comes a deafening cry, that day a man shall flee from his own brother, and from his mother and father, and from his wife and his children. Every man that day will have enough concerns of his own to make him careless of others. Some faces that day will be bright, laughing, rejoicing at the good news, and other faces that day will be stained with dust. Darkness will cover them. Such will be the disbelievers and the wicked evildoers.